there is so much media coverage of this virus on the news, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, it's everywhere, no matter which direction you look, there's always something connected to it. People are being told to stay indoors, going out for essentials, for an hour's exercise a day. Some people don't have a choice due to medical reasons, who are confined to their house and gardens. There are so many people who were adventurous, explorers, always out doing what they love, and yet are bound to the house, unable to break out of this inescapable prison for the time being. I know it's going to be hard. Trust me, I bloody know. <laughs> I know a dozen of my friends who were always out with exploring in vans, on bikes, even by foot, from having the great outdoors, forests and lakes, mountains, hiking, cycling, kayaking, you know, to having an urban adventure with buildings that feel like they're closing in around you. Trust me, I know I'm one of the people. You know, a dozen of my friends also suffer from mental illness. You know, some of them live alone, you know, by themselves. These are the ones who are going to feel it the most. You know, it might feel like the world is falling apart, not being able to visit family or hang out with friends. You know, to feel suddenly everything stop and have nothing to replace it. Suicide rates are probably going to rise very quickly. You know, the next few months. Self-isolation will be mentally challenging, you know, for a lot of people who so look after the loved ones, especially the ones who live alone. You know, but remember, being alone doesn't mean you are alone. You know, social distancing doesn't mean emotional distancing. Please reach out, open up, let people in. You know, we may not be able to be with each other now, but we can still be there for each other. You know, in times like this, it's when communities really stick together. People helping each other out know the best they can. There's a lot of people throwing rainbows and butterflies and smiley faces and quotes and windows you know, to spread a little happiness to the ones walking by. But there might be times that almost feel like normal. You know, like nothing's happening and there are times the full reality of what's happening is going to hit. You know, it might overwhelm you. You know, but take it easy, you know, be gentle with yourself. You know, you're doing the best you can in these very bad situations. <laughs> You know, like a child, when someone is scared, they deserve more love. You know, not less. So remember, we are all capable of that. You know, and it is endless. You know, so please stay indoors, keep safe, but most importantly, keep smiling.